All right, guys, today we've got the Whipper. So this is the newest rower um, slash skier slash paddler. Took a long time to get here. I ordered this in June. It is now December. So this is, uh, <clears throat> I did not make the first shipment that they ever sent out. This is the second group. Um, so what we're gonna do today is take it apart I will show you, uh, we'll see how easy it is to put together. Um, I'm gonna try to do it as fast as I can and without the directions. So this unit is a, is a rower, there's a rower base. It's a skier and it comes with the paddle attachment as well. As far as directions, there are none. Ah, okay. Here you've got a tiny little, tiny little thing says scan for manual. And I guess that's how you put this thing together if you wanna to try to figure that out. We're gonna do this the old fashioned way, Lego style. You get a pile of Legos. You get a pile of Legos and you build some shit. Um, like many projects that I do, I'll probably have some leftover pieces. If you see any parts you need, let me know. So, this is what you get. This is the Whipper uh, Ski Row Paddle combo, this is like uh, somewhere around, I think $800. The price keeps going up, so if you are interested in this thing, depending on what I, if I suggest you should buy it or not, buy it sooner than later, because the price keeps going up and these are not, their, their supply and demand is not quite where it needs to be, or uh, their supply is limited. They're, they have a lot of trouble getting stuff from China. So, all right, this is the front leg, definitely. Let's try to figure out how to put it in there. Okay. Looks like we got a hole. Find a piece that fits. Boom. So it looks like there's some pin holes right here. There's some holes in the seat or in the rail and there's holes in the seat. I believe that's so you can lock it for your paddling. Um, there's a couple holes here too. So I guess that's different height adjustments. This looks like it goes in here. You know what? Yep. It's a little third leg, middle leg, so that you don't, uh, when all your weight's in the center, the center's gonna be the weakest point. So that's to uh, stop you from bending this thing. All right, we got a right and a left on these. So it looks like these feet are um, adjustable. It has a little pin on the back side here that you flip that pin out and that puts you in the hole. So there's a bunch of holes right here. I have no idea what a good spot is, but uh, based on the other rowers that we got in the back there, we're probably somewhere in this, this angle, okay. 
There's not a lot of parts here, so it's pretty easy to figure out. And then we lock that guy in. Okay, those are on nice and tight. So we got these buckles and some, so this will adjust your foot up or down. Obviously everybody's got different size feet and ideally you want your foot so your toes are just above this strap. This I'm not sure, eh, I guess everybody's got a little different ankle mobility. Um, can set those up differently. I don't know about straight up and down, that's gonna be pretty tough that angle, but that's generally the, the angle of a regular um, Concept 2 rower. So we're gonna be probably start somewhere around there. This looks like this piece. This thing's awfully wobbly. Oh, we got a we got another hole in the bottom. So the way this thing works for the ski for the ski adapter, you would slide that underneath a door. So your door frame would be like so. And then you got this little button here as a pump. It fills up with air. And so now that door is gonna hold this unit in place to our, um, push this little other button. That's gonna deflate this little pouch. Looks like this pouch is made of Tyvek. Make sure that's out of air. Trying to find, how do we put the batteries in? Okay, it's probably here. Oh. All right, we need three batteries. I was looking this online, I was watching the video, how to put these together. These items are for setting up like, uh, this I believe is for the strap, the buckle, to strap this thing into the ground. And this attaches to the back here. That's for the, uh, what do you call it? Paddleboard. Here. So this thing is very interesting. So if I set this up, oh, that's nice. So very cool magnet attachments. This thing's simple. It just slides in and boom, that's in there. This looks like a handle, handle holder. And this, I'll show you what that is. Um, I think I understand what that is. So you definitely gotta watch the videos on this thing. Mm. It's got a little pinhole in the bottom there to uh, hold that hold that pin. All right, let's see how this thing works. So this uh, extra piece here, I guess, goes here somehow, and I think you put this in here. It's just a lever to add an extra layer of difficulty for the pull on the rower. Let's see. I'm gonna put my feet. This is super light, super light. That's even lighter. So it's got this level dial on the back and it says on the front here um, what level we're on. That's super light. I'm not gonna get a very good workout on that. On the videos of setting these things up, we put that there and this actually attaches like that. So now, because we need some extra leverage here, or I guess less leverage, pull that guy out. Comes with an extra pulley, it's not extra. And what we gotta do is pass the rope into there. This might be upside down, oh, right side up. And then slide the magnet in there, boom, it's ready to rock. Now this is much harder now And that feels quite a bit more like a Concept2 rower. Um, from the reviews and what I read before I bought this thing, so I wanted to make sure it was something I, that a 
uh, like a guy can get a good workout in, um, a stronger guy, uh, and not just like, um, you know, speed, 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 speed. They say this is about equal to a concept two on a seven. So while I mostly row on a eight to 10, this will still allow me to get a pretty decent workout in. And this is, this is definitely sufficient. So I'm gonna do a little bit of rowing. All in all, this is a pretty smooth rower. Um, there's a little bump right here, but I don't think that's gonna matter much. The fact that this thing comes apart uh, is huge, so you could store this thing in a house. Um, and that's why I got this. We, here in Hawaii, is everybody lives in small apartments and condos and houses, so there's not a lot of room for a big rower. Um, this thing breaks down pretty easy. Let's see what it looks like when we break it down. And this is the rower attachment, right? So you could probably fit this thing under your bed and actually that's probably why this thing, why it's important for these to tilt, right? So I'm gonna break this thing down into like two pieces here. And that's gonna be pretty good to fit into most houses. And here's the question, can somebody, like my mom, use this thing, break it down, take it apart? I think you guys saw, I put this thing together super fast. So there's one piece, two piece. We'll store these right in here. We got this seat. This is gonna be the max height. So we could actually take this seat off if we needed to slide this thing under a bed, making it super, super storable. Um, and if we needed to, we can also pop this thing apart. Super easy right here. This guy just, this big, big turner, spins right off. There you go, take that off. That's not a lot of room, guys. That's pretty badass. You have a couple other pieces here, but for the most part, that's not gonna take up a lot of room, okay? Compare that to one of those. These things are a pain in the ass in the gym. They take up so much space. That's it. right here, you have a rower and a ski erg. Most of the time, you're not gonna use them at the same time. Um, as far as, uh, I, like the, I like the rower action. Um, reading this, I was pulling about a calorie a pull when I was pulling hard, and that's about what I could do on the um, on a concept two at a six or seven. Um, meter wise, I don't feel like this pulls is probably not getting the spin that a concept two gets. So the concept two, you're gonna you're gonna chalk up more meters quickly. So your 500 time is gonna be higher on this. Your 2K time, anything, your marathon row is gonna be quite a bit higher on this thing. But as far as comfort. Seat, way more comfortable than Concept 2. Um, the slide's a little bumpier because there's a split. Uh, feet, doesn't matter. I took my shoes off for a reason. I wanted to see how these felt with no shoes on because most people are gonna be using these in their house. You wanna be able to take your shoes off, right? We're gonna try the ski option, okay? So this thing's pretty simple. I didn't look anything up. This clearly goes in the door like that. So your top part's up. I'm already gonna tell you, 
These do not come down far enough. They go up fine. This is not long enough. I don't know if these are adjustable. Oh, ho, 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 you smart bastards. Okay, these are adjustable. I got real worried there. So when you're doing a ski, let's go over real quick how to do a ski. So at the top, those handles are gonna go all the way up. You want your arms extended up overhead, right? Even coming up onto your tippy toes and then dropping down, shooting your butt back. And kind of like if you had ski poles, you would push yourself through the snow in the ski pole. So same thing here. We get that big, we, we want this as long as possible. Drive up and extend those triceps at the bottom. So we want to be able to get really the handles down to about your knees, right? So as far as length, these come down to ankles. So I got to hand it to Whipper. When I saw the videos of people using this, I could tell that it wasn't long enough. And I was really worried that they didn't, they didn't make this so you could get a full range of motion on the ski. That's a, that's a great way to store that extra line. Man, that's smart. Gotta hand it to him. So I'm gonna put these, there you go, uh, six, eight inches. I can go a little lower. There you go. We are right about where the um, Concept 2 one is. We pull our little flap out and this goes into this somehow. And I don't know if this is, I don't really know what that does. Maybe it just protects this or some non-skid. Maybe it's just so you don't, sl doesn't slip. So I want to put it roughly under that. And it says to pump like some ridiculous amount of times, like a hundred pumps to uh, inflate that bladder fully. So what's happening, that bladder is inflating. It's going to be stuck under the door, but behind the door, it's going to inflate up. And that's what's going to lock this thing in place. I have no idea how many that is. That's pretty firm though, actually. Shit, that's pretty good. Okay, so that's pretty firmly in there. Now we're gonna hook this bad boy up. Again, really cool magnet system here. So easy to pull in and out. All right, so that's perfect height. See that? We're coming right up to the top. All right, let's do it. That's not bad. Do a couple pulls on the concept. I'm gonna tone this down to about a five. I feel like that's where that is. Okay. All right, that's pretty cool. Um, feel wise, it's a concept on a one or a two. This isn't very strong this pull. Um, unlike the rower, the rower has that extra pulley in there. That makes a big difference. Um, the skier doesn't. I don't know if the line's long enough and they don't give you enough room for a pulley in here. So I guess you're not meant to have that extra pulley. Um, but you can get a full length pull, which is good. Like for us, we're gonna attach this when we use it to the, the rigs. So um, it's just going to be nice to be able to put this out of the way when we're not using it. Uh, you can get a good workout in, no doubt. It's just not quite as hard to pull on the concept. So I know when I do a lot of skiing, I really blast those, blow those triceps up with that little extra tricep extension move. Um, you're not going to get this on this. However, as far as... As far as feel and technique, you can absolutely practice your technique for that. I mean, you're gonna be, this is mostly gonna be used at home um, or like on vacation. This would be the, the part you'd take on vacation. I don't know about taking that whole rower package, but the ski package, absolutely. Um, even that paddle package, you could probably take half of that paddle with you and you could do the paddle stuff. Um, the rower, that's a lot of stuff. I know it's not that, uh, It'll make it in a 50, your 50 pound bag that you bring on an airplane. Um, but it is a lot of stuff to be able to row. 
Icy bringing the skier attachment. This thing's pretty good. You're gonna get that practice. You're gonna get some cardio. Same thing on the rower. Um, while you might not be hitting those harder pulls um, as you would on Concept 2, I think for a lot of people, this is gonna be, this is more than sufficient. Um, one thing I did see, I wanna go over. couple things I figured out. I did see some people doing um, reviews on this thing based on what they saw in a video. They didn't actually have this, they didn't actually have the rower. And um, one of them had mentioned how stupid this was to have this tilt. And uh, I get it, maybe you won't use it. You want it set at the regular Concept 2 level, I don't know. Um, but to me, it's a feature that uh, it doesn't harm this thing to have, have an extra feature. And I uh, absolutely love this feature. I have an issue with my left side due to back problems. When I squat and row, and I, I, I figured it out on the row, I can't feel my left leg doing any of the work unless I focus on the left leg doing the work. But what I, what I did just for shits to see if there was any, any use in this uh, being able to tilt them, and they can tilt them independently. I tilt this leg up a tiny bit so it's a little flatter. I now feel that my pull is absolutely, maybe not absolutely, but it's pretty close to even feel on both legs. That's huge. I always have an issue on the concept too where I push with my left, push with my left, push with my left. And then I get tired, I start pushing mostly with the right. That's just how it, how it works um, with my legs. However, when I did this, all of a sudden, that imbalance is gone. Um, so I think this could be a real, a real bonus to somebody working on an injury. Um, you could really isolate, just by tilting, tilting these, you can isolate that, that leg. A um, Couple things I really like, I love, the build, uh, super solid. You can see this is like um, quarter inch thick aluminum. Everything about this is solid. It feels solid. This thing is not gonna break. Uh, I didn't use the, um, this thing, the paddle. I'm sure it works fine and I'll use it eventually, but the rower and the skier was more what I was, what, it's, it's the reason most people are buying these things. Um, Great, uh, great engineering to have this thing so modular. Um, having this wheel in here is an amazing idea because at first you're like, uh-oh, this thing doesn't pull very hard. And, you, and I got a little nervous the first time I pulled it, but then I remembered that this, this piece went in there to double it up. Uh, but with that, if you took this out, this is a very good rower for kids. I know the kids at the gym love to hop on a rower. They'll sit on these things, roll and row and row. Um, now they'll be able to adjust it down to something that's a little more suitable for them. Let's see, what else? Um, things I don't like. Nowadays, you gotta put some sort of a mount on here for your phone. Uh, either like a magnet, maybe a magnet, everybody's got magnets now, but some sort of mount here, or even on top of the, um, doesn't need to be anything special. And I'm sure I'll put on a little, uh, maybe suction cup tripod mount or something, but that would be nice. Uh, the Bluetooth, I looked at the Bluetooth app a little bit. It shows some pretty good stuff. I'll throw some stills up. Uh, I'd say for the, this whole package is $800. That's about $400 cheaper than a Concept 2 rower, um, way cheaper than a few other rowers. And you get this skier, ski package too with that um, $800, which that's a $950 unit by itself. The space savings is unbelievable. Being able to break this down and put it under your bed or in a closet or even just fold it up, put it on a wall. And the extra, the other parts on this thing, you can just wrap these up and uh, throw them in a closet. This baggie, I don't know, this is useless. I get it, it's to cover, it's to protect this thing when you're moving it around, but It'd be nice if it had some sides on it so that I can, uh, we can store the extra gear in there, but whatever. 
other issues that I see. Uh, the seat, it stores, the holes are here to here. I feel like there should be a, a front storage all the way front so that all your bigger stuff's there or all the way to the rear. Easy enough, drill a couple holes, which I'll probably do with my. But I like that. I really like that these things lock up like that. And I know that's for the paddle, the paddle option, right? So I'm in there, right? Um, but makes it really convenient if you've ever picked up a Concept 2 and taken them apart, that seat comes back and hits your fucking fingers and it really pisses you off. So um, I love that this thing, the way this thing comes apart right here, one issue is this. This is gonna get lost. Easy piece to get lost, and if it does, you could really damage um, all this stuff that keeps it flat. So I feel like there should be a bolt, and you actually could if you got a bolt right here. You could thread another bolt into there. I don't think they gave another bolt, did they? No. You could thread another bolt into there and kind of make it so this thing can't move. Um, it would get stuck right there if you could get that guy in there. So um, give us another bolt, Whipper. We need a bolt for this so we don't lose it. Um, and then we need holes here and then a, some sort of phone mount, right? And that's about it. This thing's pretty mean though. Uh, very well made. Lots of material here, lots of metal and um, real solid. So I would absolutely for the $800, pick one of these up. The amount of space it saves is amazing and you will use it. All right guys, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching rather. Uh, like and subscribe. Aloha.